Hello everyone. So this is a Sony, my first Sony cassette player. And um, I bought it several years ago when my daughter was quite young and she used it for a bit, um, mainly for the microphone side. Um, it did play tapes okay. Um, so she used to sing along and I think there was also um, an additional microphone that came with it. So um, more people could use it. So there's a power there and, and there's like a second microphone input there, which is like an optional thing. So um, I think that microphone's long gone now. So we've only got this single microphone. Um, but what's happened here is it still works, um, but unfortunately it won't play tapes very well. So uh, I'll just test the uh, speaker out. Yep, that seems to be fine. Um, I don't know what age this is. It's probably either late 80s or 90s. And um, it's really, really robust, um, very heavy. So um, I can imagine that if these are still about, then there'd be, um, there'd be many of them because um, they're just so robust. And I can imagine them being chucked on the floor and they would just withstand everything. So um, I'll just show you the back. This is the uh, compartment for the batteries. And it takes four C size batteries, so um, six volts. But um, if, you, um, if you happen to have the, this on, so if you have it on play, um, you could weigh your batteries down and not realize that um, that the thing's on so um, yeah I think that's happened a couple of times and uh, we've come back to check this and it's got flat batteries so uh, it can get a little bit expensive um, so what I'll do I'll just put a tape in quickly and uh, so as you can hear the um, sound is very slow and there's lots of um, Sort of, um, yeah, I'll play it again. Yeah, so this is running very, very slow. Not ideal. Um, I believe it's the band inside. I did um, start to take this apart last night and then I realized it's gonna be a little bit more involved. So uh, let's, um, let's do that now and uh, just show you the inside of this. For the video I'm actually using a action cam because they tend to have a wider view, angle of view, and um, the Canon, which you might be able to see in the corner there, unfortunately it would be great to use, but um, I can't get the camera far enough back. Um, okay, there's quite a few screws. So in all, I took three out of the handle earlier, so they're smaller screws. Um, and these ones are quite long, and then there's some more in the battery compartment. Right. Get this out. So there's our batteries. And I did put some screws, well, I did put these screws back in again because I, I took this apart um, yesterday evening just to uh, to see what was involved and um, it's a little bit involved not too bad not too bad okay so this is the back and the this is the guts of it so we've got one board obviously there's no um, there's no sort of power transformer in there because it would have been powered on a, an adapter so um, there's a socket there for the power as you can see that's the um, microphone that goes directly into the board and um, 
I think the culprit, which you might be able to see, it's just above the motor there, there's a rubber band. Um, so that's probably perished. So the idea now is to undo these screws and by the looks of it, this looks like it's on the board. So I'm gonna to have to take that out, these screws off and hopefully I can lift it clear to one side. So that's what I'm gonna to aim to do. I might, I might have to disconnect the, um, I like the way they've just put those around those components there, those capacitors. Okay, so yeah, so um, I'll just have a go at taking these out now. So I noticed um, once I took the screws out, so I took the four out, and this small screw that holds the um, little light there um, for the record, I think. So, um, or the microphone, that's right. So I could see that this cake would come off. So, um, but it looks like it's soldered here. So I'm hoping I don't have to take this apart anymore because I can see inside that there are uh, two, two bouts as far as I can see. So there'd be one probably for the play and uh, one for the um, forward and or one for the reverse. So yeah, it'll, it'll be um, two bouts. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to have a look now and see if I, if I can take those off and uh, whether or not I've got some actually that, that size to fit. Before I start to take these off, I'm just going to show you. So there's two bouts and one of them is under the other one. Um, so the top one here goes around the spindle of the motor. Um, now, I think getting these off will be okay, but obviously getting new ones on could be a little bit tricky, but I think I've got access and I just have to use some tweezers to, uh, to get in there. Um, I don't really think taking it out is gonna make it any easier for me. So what I do, I get the bands off and we can look at the sizes. So taking off the bands, <laughs> quite straightforward. Um, they look to be a similar size. So this is the top one and this is the bottom one. But they've lost their, um, their kind of spring. Yeah, as you can see, not really going back into shape. Um, I could do a 12 volt vids um, special and put them in the microwave but I think I'm going to see if I've got some that size because they're quite thin and I think I, I may have. So um, yeah, I'll go and have a look now. So the first, first one's on and you can see it's actually seems to be just right. So I'm going to put the other one on now which comes from the motor side. So hopefully you can see um, I fitted two belts. It was a little bit tricky, so I had to uh, take four more screws out to um, remove the actual chasse part of the um, cassette. And um, it's a little bit tricky to get that belt over the right point on the spindle of the motor, but um, it seems to be fine. And you needed to uh, take this out to get access to see where it sits. So there's two places where the belt sit. There's the lower one and the top one. So uh, what I'll do now is I'll reassemble this and uh, do a short video, hopefully, of it working again. So this is the conclusion now of uh, fitting two new belts and reassembling everything. Um, so th something I didn't notice, which I should have, was when I took the battery compartment off, there was no wires to attach it to the um, board. So um, what you have to do, have a look at this here, and you can see the um, negative and positive here are actually uh, springs that sit on some metal contacts on the PCB board, which is pretty, pretty smart thing to do, I would say. And um, that, that saved me breaking the wire by accident because there wasn't, there wasn't a wire to break. So um, that's pretty good. Not seen that in many things. 
with just four screws in, one, two, and then three, four, that's the two that help it connect the power to the board. Um, I think we'd be ready to, uh, to give it a test actually. So, uh, incredibly, I wouldn't say over-engineered, but um, very well, very, very well designed and put together and it's lasted many years. So let's uh, try out a cassette tape. So I did try a tape, but there's a bit of wear and flutter and um, it seems to be going at the right speed. So I'm just gonna clean off as much as I can. Perhaps I should have done this when it was um, when it was outside. Um, yeah, when I had all this apart. <laughs> some 90 percent alcohol it's possible that it's just beyond um, beyond saving in terms of um, using it for cassettes <laughs> and I think a lot of my old cassettes are quite a few years old so the good thing is forwards working rewinds working the other thing is the spring wasn't working on the door before uh, but I sorted that out as well so that's good actually let's just make sure the microphone works testing testing it does and give it a few more minutes to dry so I've had to have a go at cleaning the capstan, the rubber capstan in here, because um, it's got a slight indentation on it and I think it's making the sound of the cassette um, a bit warbled, so uh, wow, wow and flutter. So uh, I've got a, uh, a now, that's what I call music one cassette, which is probably a bit risky, isn't it, putting it into this, but... Um, probably quite sought after now, the original uh, cassette there. So it doesn't sound too bad. Um, it sounds better than it was sounding when I uh, initially put everything back together after I changed the belts. So uh, I'm quite happy with that now. I think um, you know, we're not expecting hi-fi quality sound, but at least um, maybe with a few old tapes, perhaps not this tape, but uh, a few different tapes, uh, my son can uh, play with that and uh, try singing along as well. So uh, I hope you um, appreciated having a look inside one of these. It was quite interesting. And um, if, um, if you'd like to leave any comments, and I uh, appreciate that, and um, I can create some other videos if you like uh, by liking my video and subscribing that would be good thank you very much and um, see you again soon